Good morning students today we will discuss fermat's theorem which is an important topic of abstract it states if p is a prime number and a is an integer then a to the power p is equivalent to a mod p it means if p is a prime number then a to the power p is always equivalent to a when we will find modulus of p so its proof is let g be the set of non zero residue classes of integers modulo p if p is a prime number then with respect to multiplication of residue classes g is a group of order p minus 1 for example if p is equals to 5 then g is equals to set of residue classes that is 1 2 3 4 with respect to multiplication modulo 5 it forms a multiplicative group of order 4 that is p minus 1 the identity element of this group is 1 Now suppose a is an integer. Now two cases arises. Case first, when p is divisor of a. In this case, a is equals to zero, and it does not. belong to set g as g is a set of non zero residue classes but as p divides a it implies p also divides a to the power p suppose if 5 divides 10 then 5 must be divided 10 to the power p it implies p also divides a to the power p minus a that is a to the power p is equivalent to a modulus p now case 2 when p is not a divisor of a then a must belongs to set g therefore a to the power order of g is equals to 1 as 1 is the identity of g we can write it as a to the power p minus 1 is equals to 1 as order of g is equals to p minus 1 it we can write as a to the power p minus 1 is equals to 1 or a to the power p minus 1 is equals to 1 or we can write it as a to the power p minus 1 minus 1 is divisible by p it implies a into a to the power p minus 1 minus a is also divisible by p it becomes equal to a to the power p minus a is divisible by p it implies a to the power p is equivalent to a mod p which is the required statement so this is the proof of fermat's theorem thank you